A malfunctioning space heater and that open door allowed the fire to run wild. News Ace Emily Leonard spoke with a local fire expert to find out what they're hoping you'll take away from this tragedy. Emily? Brian and Sue, we went to Grand Rapids Fire Inspector Bill Smith again today to ask him what people can do to avoid an unimaginable tragedy like the one in New York you just heard about. A lot of people do use space heaters, especially when the temperature drops below what we're seeing right now here in West Michigan. He urges people to make sure their heater is plugged right into an outlet, not an extension or a multi-plug. He wants people to make sure their space heater is a quality product before it's even purchased. Look for that underwriter laboratories or UL sticker on it. And if it keeps blowing a fuse, that's a warning. So the breaker's tripping. So the occupant goes and, and continues to flip that breaker in the hopes that the heater will keep running. Find a different outlet, find a different circuit to use. Do not uh, allow for fire doors to be chalked in the open position uh, into your stairway or into com compartmentalized areas. Um, and if you're leaving a fire that's in your apartment, close the door behind you. So that last advice is about propped open doors. That was another problem in that Bronx fire. Doors have been propped open, allowing the fire to spread quickly. Firefighters say they want those heavy fire doors to serve a purpose. That's why they're there in apartment buildings. And the safest way to sleep at night is with your bedroom door closed. In the newsroom, Emily Leonard, News 8.